Hi, um, Dom's Drum Room Diary, day three and four. I did do a day three, but uh, on viewing it, it was a bit random and rambling, so I decided to do two days in one go, uh, make it a bit quicker, and hopefully not such a bore to watch. So, we've now finished the inner stud work, as you can see, and we've also got the inner, oh, sorry, the outer stud work, and we've also got the outer ceiling up all the way around except for the door frame which we haven't put in yet which will be going in here um, I've left the gap at the back so that I can get the wood in and out of the garage um, the most difficult part of doing this stage was fixing through the ceilings uh, through the, the outer ceiling joist to get the, the uh, MDF above um, obviously we can't fix from above because there's a roof directly above the ceiling so what we did was drilled holes right the way through the studs not into the MDF and then had screws that are long enough to go through these and through the MDF we then fixed a handle to the MDF screwed through there and there so that we could pull down on the handle whilst we screwed up therefore the board didn't lift um, and it got quite a secure fixing I've also put, if you can just see, between the ceiling here and the garage roof, a lot of lost insulation just to try and help maintain the temperature, um, which is this stuff here, and try and um, you know increase increase the sound absorption. Um, also, since the last time the floor plate, as you can see there, I've painted with the same floor paint and a little bit up the stud just to waterproof just to help uh, waterproof a little bit more um, that's pretty much as far as we are on this um, the idea now is these 4 by 2s on the floor are going to be the inner uh, part of the roof once I've got the inner stud of the roof up then we will put the insulation between the inner and outer seal up any gaps that need sealing and um, then we'll be ready for the inner ceiling. The reason I'm doing the inner ceiling before the inner wall studs is because if the inner ceiling comes to here, it's a lot more difficult to hold boards up and cut them exactly um, to you know so there's no gaps around the edges. So the idea is because the boards are 12 mil thick, even if there's a slight gap around the ceiling, the wall boards will come up and hide any of that gap that will be around and then it will be a lot easier to seal afterwards uh, so that's that um, that's pretty much it nothing else to report at this stage uh, obviously you can see lots more stud work and MDF insulation to go on um, so I would imagine by day 5 and day 6 the diary for day 5 and day 6 will have the alternating inner stud work in insulation in possibly even the ceiling on as well and then we'll be into uh, doing the walls so um, we'll see how far we get and I'll see you on days five and six thank you